speaking with Malibu Vader. Yes. With Southside Roller Derby. Uh, now, are you are you still considered a skater with the Mob Stars, or are you a former skater? I am not a Mob Star officially anymore. Okay. But you know, once a Mob Star, always a Mob Star. Okay. Okay. But I am officially refereeing now. Okay. So so this is going to be a regular thing for the season. You'll be refereeing. Yes. Okay. For okay. sure. Okay. Now they mostly put you on on as a as a pack ref ref or a. I or have jam. been primarily pack refing. Um, mm -hmm. We have a couple of guys that are just really good at jam refing. You yeah, know, they're yeah. good at following the jammer and counting the points and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take their spot. I right. kind of like to work on the pack. Okay. You know, the two pack refs get a little communication going. Okay. Now, now, once you made the transition from actually being a skater with with the team to to actually join in the zebra squad, uh, <laughs> how did that uh, how did that go over with some of your your uh, fellow skaters? Uh, mostly pretty well, you know, we butt heads a little bit, but mm -hmm. derby girls are feisty and so we like to argue. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you've seen most of these girls in action anyway, so if you, you know, know <laughs> no what's surprises. going on. Yeah. <laughs> no surprises. No, no penalties that I haven't committed myself. Right. <laughs> so, you're, so you're very, very familiar with the, how the game works and everything yep. like that at this point, yeah. How did you actually find out about, about roller derby and coming into roller derby? I started in roller derby about three, three and a half years ago. Uh -huh. um, battle teacher actually invited me to come watch a game. Okay. She was working at my school at the time. Mm -hmm. So I came to watch a game and I came to watch another game and I was like, man, I want to do that. <laughs> so I started coming to boot camp. You should have okay. seen me in my stupid little skates that I bought at Academy. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't sure I really was going to commit. Right. So I, right. you know, I bought a set of cheap skates, and they were awful. Mm -hmm. And somehow I managed to get through tryouts, you know, okay. and ordered some real skates. <laughs> so you knew you had to, you had to know for sure that you, that this was actually going to be something you were going to go yeah. for before you. Yeah, because then you know to it. it's a little bit of an investment. Right. Right. Okay. So um, now about this, uh, the last game we had over at the Pasadena Convention Center. Um, any any surprises or? Uh, um, that was a really nice game. Um, the girls really played pretty well. We had a lot of new girls right. um, mm -hmm. that don't have a whole lot of track experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, some of them did really well, adapted to the track. Others, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to take them a little while to get their legs under them. Right. But other than that, you know, mm -hmm. it was a good south side bout, good mm -hmm. hard fought. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. Uh, did you have any uh, anything on any of the teams as far as... Uh, any idea of who might might get it in the end, or? Um, you know, they were pretty well divided. Mm -hmm. um, I actually expected the game to be a little closer than it was. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Team Pink pulled far ahead mm -hmm. early, and I thought, man, this is going to get ugly. Uh -huh. And then Team Black kind of dug back in and got got a little closer, mm -hmm. and you know, made it a little better match in the last, you know. Yeah. Quarter and a half of the game. Yeah, so it was just a matter of, uh, as far as Team Black, it was just a matter of time just ran out and, and the game just wasn't on their side at that I, point. I think huh? so. I think, yeah. you know, and Mary Jo's captain of the pink team, she's a pretty good strategist. Mm -hmm. um, so with two evenly matched teams and a brilliant strategist on one side, right. I, you know, experience maybe won the day. Yeah, I'd, But I'd, Heathen's mm -hmm. working on some experience too, and she's pretty good at what she does. So I think her mm -hmm. team's going to fight a bit harder next time you okay. know all right i did notice i did notice that like uh midway or towards the end of the game there was actually a penalty challenge where uh where mojo uh kind of stepped up and and uh and and it was a kind of a change on who was going to actually sit in the box at that point I, I think originally uh skate charmer was supposed to sit in the box and Some, then yeah, yeah somebody had skate charmer had committed a penalty and Mojo confessed that it was her who had done it. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. uh, took her yeah. rightful place in the box. Okay. So, so uh, good sportsmanship uh, by either by both I, sides. I think pretty and... good sportsmanship across the board. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, a few, a few uh, underhanded moves, but it's roller derby. Exactly. You know, you expect exactly. a little bit of dirt. <laughs> okay. So we'll be looking forward to that game on uh, March 24th at Absolutely. the Pasadena Convention Center. Now you'll still be part of the Zebra Squad uh, then. That's and, me. Okay. I'm a and, referee. Yeah. So be uh, be out there watching the game as, as much as, uh, as we can. Yep. So um, we'll see how it goes then. Awesome. All right. See you there. See you there.